confession to make. So I tried to vlog during the first Walang Tulugan Readathon last month, um, last August. I had all the footages. I even did a freaking wrap up, but I just couldn't edit it, and I don't really know why. So rest in peace to all the footages that I just deleted and here's to all the footages that didn't make this YouTube channel um, anyway in a few minutes we will be starting the second round of the Walang Tulugan readathon and we'll be reading uh, romance books so we'll be reading love stories written by Filipino authors and I'm really excited for it and I hope that these footages won't go to waste anymore. Anyway, I'm gonna go make my coffee now. So I have another confession to make while I'm mixing my coffee here. Um, it's such a shame that I don't really have any physical book of a romance novel written by a Filipino and it's just it's really a shame for me since I'm hosting a 24 hour readathon where we'll read romance books by Filipino authors. So here's to hoping that Pandayan Bookshop will be open later today. Editing Polly here so I wasn't able to check if Pandayan Bookshop was open that day and you'll find out why later. No, tomorrow. It's it's still Saturday. Um, yeah, here is to hoping that Pandayan Bookshop will be open tomorrow so that I could maybe go there if they'll allow me to. It's really pretty strict here in our town due to the pandemic. Um, some stores are not um, open every day, especially on Sundays, and not every um, Resident here can just go from uh, their houses to uh, the establishments and Yeah, I'm not really sure if um, Pandayan bookshop if ever they are, are open tomorrow Will allow me to go inside their store um, yeah. I'll be so late uh, reading ebooks and hopefully listen to audiobooks. I hope that I'll be able to find audiobooks on screen for romance by Philippine authors. I'm really nervous for this round. Um, I don't know, it's already our second round of the Walang Tulugan Readathon, but I still get nervous and I don't know why. I'm so thankful that I have Rose as my co-host and that she never leaves me. I think I'm going to pick my first read while waiting for uh, 12 midnight. Okay, so I've already decided that I will be first reading Fall Like Rain by Anna Tejano. Um, I think it features a character from... Keep the Faith. So I read Keep the Faith last month during Wikathon and it's such a beautiful book, the most wholesome book that I've ever read. And I really like Anna Tejano's writing style, so I'm really excited to read Fall Like Rain. And yeah, I'm so nervous. I have another confession. <laughs> so I don't really have a TBR. I don't really know what to read, but hopefully throughout the day I'll be able to find books that I want to read on script. Hello there, bookworms. Um, reading update, it's already 2 a.m. and we just finished the reading sprints on Walang Tulugan Readathon's Instagram page. And uh, only two people joined. Uh, maybe the others were busy. Um, Isla said that she still has some work to do, so she'll just uh, join in later. But for the first session of the reading sprints, 
we had Ina from Ina the Mood Reader and Jess from Jess Booked. Uh, they were the only two participants for the first reading sprints. Um, so what will happen with the reading sprints is the person who will read the most number of pages and who will participate during the reading sprints or no no let me explain it again insert the one sound effect that i cannot find on my cheap mobile video editing app so um what will happen to the reading sprints is the one who will read the most a number of pages combining all the reading sprints that, that they participated in will have one extra entry for the number of books read so if um for example i participated in the reading sprints and i ended up um reading 200 pages from all of the reading sprints combined and i ended up having the most number of pages read for the reading sprints I will have one extra entry for the number of books that I've read. So if I read three books, then I will have one extra book as an entry because um, the person who will read the most number of books during this 24 hour readathon will um, have a giveaway prize, and that is to be announced in our Instagram page. I hope that I explained that well. Alright, um, anyway, for my reading update, I ended up starting Fall Like Rain by Anna Tejano. As I've mentioned earlier, I am really excited to read it. And uh, yeah, it seems like a friends to lovers kind of story and uh, I am so far liking it even if I am not halfway through it yet um, I like that the main character who is Rain works in a computer something company <laughs> no um, I like I really like how Rain, the female main character, works as a computer scientist, computer something. Please excuse my last two that brain cells working at 2 a.m. You know, someone who works in a oh, computer, I don't know, she programs and all that stuff. Um, and I just think that being a female in a male-dominated industry is uh, really interesting and I like how Ana Tejano makes her character um, involved in a mainly male-dominated oh industry male-dominated industry and um, yeah, Mark seems like a really interesting guy I am excited to read more of him and to get to know him more and uh, the book is actually only 150 pages long so I'm really surprised that I haven't finished it yet but as I've mentioned earlier, it's because I was running the reading sprints and also finishing up some touches for the readathon. But uh, I'm hoping to finish it now. Yeah, after I do all this talking. I've been talking for five minutes and I'm, I'm not sure if I'm still making sense here. Editing Polly here assuring you that you're not. Uh, this is still my first cup of coffee. I put it in the ref earlier when I made it. So, yeah. I'm uh, gonna stop talking now in front of the camera and start reading. 
I already got the job name of Rain and it is computer programmer. Okay, I'm not yet done embarrassing myself. I have coffee on my outer lips. I hope I have a paperback copy of Fall Like Rain so that you can see my reactions while I'm reading it. <laughs> I couldn't even scream because my housemates are already sleeping. But, nakakakilig <laughs> guys. Hello bookworms! So I just finished reading Fall Like Rain by Anna Teano and I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. It is a really cute and fluffy romance read. I really love how Anna Tejano writes about career women or women who are really in love with their careers because by writing about them, it doesn't make the story that much cheesy because it just doesn't focus on the love story but also on um, strong independent women. I really don't know what to read next so I'll just go ahead and go to Scribd and see if there is any interesting audiobook available because I feel like listening to an audiobook right now. I just got a notification that my phone's storage is already full. It's because I still have a pending reading vlog that I haven't edited yet. So I guess I'm gonna go ahead and edit that first so that I could clear up some space on my phone. Hey bookworm, so it's already 5 p.m. and I'm just making an update right now because I fell asleep earlier at around 10 a.m. and I just woke up at around 3 p.m. And that's why I wasn't able to go to Pandayan Bookshop. And that's just in time for the afternoon reading sprints over at Walang Tulugan Readathon's Instagram page. I was actually late for the reading sprint, so we had to move from 3.15 or no, from 3 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. So instead of starting at 3, we started at 3.30. I think one participant already finished three books and the other two already finished two books so that's uh, really a good job for them and now i am currently reading my second read which is heartstruck by angeli tomatol and it surprised me that it is actually about a junior high school I didn't expect that but the story is pretty interesting because it features an Arnisador and it's my first time to read a story that features an Arnisador and I think I only have like 80 pages left to read so I am really excited to see what's about to happen in Heartstruck and what else? Um, well, since it's already 5 p.m., I'm gonna have to fix myself first before I do anything else. So I'm gonna take a bath and all those shenanigans. And after that, I am hoping to finish Heartstruck and then start my third book, which I do not know what yet. And yeah, I will talk to you guys again later. of a potato right now and it's already 6 p.m. I wouldn't be able to read yet because I have to do some uh, personal chores or personal stuff that I couldn't say on cam so that's fun um, anyway I will just talk to you guys again later when I finally had the chance to read 
Kain tayo. Hindi ng cup noodles, ha? Bilo-bilo. Yum. Ang sarap. Thank you sa kapitbahay namin. <laughs> I started doing some um, personal stuff earlier, but may langgan. Uh, I'm just now eating bilo bilo, and bigay ito ng kapit bahay namin. So, while eating Bilo Bilo, I will be continuing um, Heart Struck by Anjali Dumatol. And hopefully, I'll be able to finish it before the uh, final reading sprint session at 9pm. Hey Bookworms, just a really quick reading update. I just finished my second read for the day, which is Heartstruck by Anjali Dumatol. I give it 4 out of 5 stars. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I really like how it features a main character that is into our niece. And it is a pretty complex story, so I love that. Also, it is really surprising that the author is actually a physician, so that's so cool. And that is it for this quick reading update. I am not sure what to read next. What's new about that? It's already past 11pm and it's so embarrassing that I kind of failed my own 24-hour readathon. I only read two books today but to be fair it's really a busy day for me and a tiring one. Um, I had to organize some stuff and I had to um, fix my resume because I'll be applying for a teaching job position in my basic education I'm a matter tomorrow morning and I'm really nervous <sighs> um, anyway I know that this would be the last 24 hour readathon or the last round for Walang Tulugan Readathon. Hopefully, we'll be able to do another one in October where we can read some spooky reads or maybe some some um, graphic novels because a lot of the participants really want to um, read graphic novels. And yeah, I'm really excited for the next one since um, this round is kind of all over the place, especially because with my mental state condition. Um, anyway, that is it for this reading vlog, I guess. I am once again really thankful for all the people who supported and participated in Walang Tulugan Readathon. Thank you guys so much. And I hope to see you in the next one. Keep on reading. Keep on supporting local authors. Bye-bye and stay safe, guys.